everybody. It's time for the monthly $100 supersize sales video. The sales in this video come from my Facebook group where we have a dedicated thread every month for sales of $100 or more. So be sure to post your sales on that dedicated thread because that's where I look for sales to include in this video. Okay, we are going to start off with Dorcas Martin. Paid $15 at a yard sale. I started the listing at $199 six months ago. It was getting close to Christmas, so I dropped the price to $149. Finally took an offer of $100. Happy for the sale. This is a Franklin Mint Christmas Advent Calendar. Sold for $100 even. Now we have Lori Lilenthal Crow from My Inventory, so no cost to me. Sold in about a week. My first $100 sale in 2022. And this was back in December, so she just squeaked by getting that in for 2022. The item is an Apple iPhone 7 unlocked. And yeah, older phones will sell. Sometimes they sell for parts or sometimes the user of the phone does not care how old it is. Maybe they're just going to use it as a phone. <laughs> Imagine that. Hello. I use my phone for less and less these days just because I don't like looking at it all the time, but um, some people just use it as a phone or a magnifier or a calculator or to check email or text or just do those basic things so they don't care if it's older. This item sold for $100 even. Rachel Schmidt bought this at an auction for $36. I was hoping it would go for a little more since it's signed, but still a profit at best offer of $100 in three weeks. The item is Christopher Radko signed satin. It looks like an ornament. Picture is kind of small, but it sold for $100 even. Terry Wilcox. Bought this on Facebook Marketplace for $20. Listed it a little high at $185, but ended up taking an offer of $100 after a week. Shipped it FedEx in contractor grade garbage bags. This is a mad rock climbing crash pad. So it's just a thick mat that uh, rock climbers use in case they need to fall off the side of a cliff they will have a cushioned landing <laughs> so this sold also for $100 even Tiffany Takao bought at Goodwill Outlet for $25 ran a seven day auction and sold for $103.50 Vintage 1999 Shalimar perfume. My mother used to wear that and everything she had smelled like Shalimar. <laughs> this sold for $103.50. And just a note on fragrances. eBay no longer allows used fragrances at all. There was a big discussion about this a few weeks ago on the Facebook group and even though listings are still out there, eBay is cracking down on this. You can sell new fragrances or the empty bottle and you can put those empty bottles in the collectibles section but uh, eBay is cracking down on this. Several people who have sold fragrances for years, even decades, uh, used fragrances, their listings are being pulled and they're being suspended. So if you have any listings for pre-owned fragrances, I would definitely remove those. I've removed mine 
and I wouldn't toss them, donate them. Um, something may come up later where you can sell them, but um, most of the reselling websites do not allow used fragrances anymore. And um, this is coming from the FDA. It's a sanitary issue. So it's not a hazmat shipping issue. It's a sanitary issue. And it's just going to take a while for all of these listings to be found and removed by eBay. But uh, save yourself some heartache and some headaches. <laughs> um, if you have any pre-owned fragrances listed, my advice is to remove them before eBay does because that is not going to be a happy ending. And I will put the link to the fragrances policy on eBay. This actually went into effect in 2021, but it is now being enforced and more strictly every day. So I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but just uh, trying to warn you so that your account uh, does not get suspended because once you're kicked off eBay, it's really hard to get back on. Okay, Kim Furman paid $20 at an estate sale. I separated the pen from the hat because for some reason the pen brings in more money when not attached. Sold for best offer of $105 in one day. This is a vintage Pan Am Airlines hat pen, 5 8 inch. 20 bucks sold for 105 in one day. Okay, Kathy Trump sold another Christopher Radko ornament. I got a whole bunch of them at a yard sale for a dollar each. This is the second one I've sold for over a hundred dollars. This sold in less than a day, and she is my first repeat buyer. This is a 2003 Christopher Radko Aloha shirt, Hawaiian shirt ornament. A dollar sold for a hundred and five. Eileen Cole, ten dollars for this set at my favorite charity used book sale. Sold for a hundred and nine dollars via offer to watchers. Sold in six days. The item is the Bible Story Complete Set Volumes 1 through 10. Ten dollars sold for a hundred and nine. Diana Warren paid up for this beauty at a local antique store for $35, sold in just about a month for full asking of $109.44. This is a 1964 Inarco Lady Head Vase, <laughs> $35, sold for just over $109. And she is gorgeous and vintage and um, very classy looking. Jane Brown, Got this for Christmas last year and it didn't fit right. Store credit wasn't worth exchanging, so I listed it. Sold on offer received for $110. This is a new with tag skull cashmere turtleneck sweater. Sold for $110. Andrea Nolt. This was given to me by a neighbor who was moving. Sold in less than a month for best offer of 115 Walt Disney Monorail Musical Snow Globe. So this was free, and Andrea picked up a cool $115 for listing it. Anne Rice. It's been a while since I posted here. Lots of regular sales lately, which is always good, too. I bought this at an estate sale for $6.00. It sold for full asking price and free shipping in just one week. My profit was $84.66 after fees and shipping. This is Pokemon Piplup Penguin from Build-A-Bear. So she paid $6 and walked away with $115.98 sale price, $85 profit. Tanya Gibson paid a dollar or two as part of a bulk buy at a garage sale. It has flaws, which I was clear about in the listing. 
listed for several months at $149.99 plus shipping and accepted offer of $115 plus shipping. It is big and I was glad not to have to keep storing it. This is Patience Brewster Huge 30 inch Christmas Santa Elf. And she paid, well, she didn't say exactly what she paid. Uh, probably not very much, you knowing Tanya. <laughs> and it sold for $115. Kathleen Gifford, pick up this West Germany pottery when you find it. I purchased these mugs back in March for $9.99 at Goodwill. They took about eight months to sell. They sold for $115 less a 15% off coupon. The item is set of eight, and I looked this up to see how to pronounce it, Vectorsbach, Germany, snowmen, mugs, $115. So yes, this is your word of the day, Vectorsbach. That's how you pronounce it. Well, according to this pronunciation site on Google, could be wrong, but at least I tried. Okay, moving on. Brian Rappaport paid $5 at a garage sale in the spring. Sold for $119.99 plus shipping. Happy to get this box off my shelves and out the door. Department 56 Village Animated Skating Pond. $5 sold for just under $120. Tawana Witten picked this up at a summer garage sale for $5. I listed it last week. It sold within 48 hours. Red Man Chewing Tobacco Advertising Tin Sign. $5 sold for just under $120. Savannah Boone. I bought three fiber optic gingerbread houses at Goodwill for $10 each. This sold for full asking price in four months. Sam's Club Holiday Collection 2005 Fiber Optic Bakery Shop, $120. So let's think about this for a second. This is a Sam's Club item. This is not Christopher Radko or Jay Strongwater, or a vintage ceramic light-up Christmas tree. This is from Sam's Club. <laughs> so this goes to show that people will buy anything. $10 sold for $120. Lewis Prizzy paid $20 at an estate sale listed for $129.95. Sold for best offer of 120 after about two months. Disney Nightmare Christmas Holiday Stockings. $20 sold for 120 And those get the award for the creepiest item in this video. <laughs> Allison Haveman, free to me. My mom is still coming across things that belong to my stepdad or things that he was saving. He bought these a few years ago probably because it was a good deal and he knew he would eventually wear them. No one else in the family could wear these so I listed it for $150 and took best offer of $125. Sold in less than a week. Dan Post Cowboy Boots Lizard Skin. Those are really cool looking. Yes, sold for $125. Okay, Kathy Hermans paid $6.29 at Goodwill, sold for full price plus shipping in eight months, retired, Bath and Body Works scent. The scent is chocolate amber. Mmm, I bet that smells yummy. And it sold for $124.95. And as you can see, Kathy did this right. It's brand new. It is not used. That is totally fine. Um, just can't sell pre-owned fragrances. Brand new or the empty bottle are fine. Robin Parsons bought these over the summer at a church yard sale. 
they were cleaning out the storage room where they had all old Christmas decor. I paid $5 for the entire box, split them into three lots, and in total sold for $300. Pictures and comments if you want to go look at that. Vintage 1940s cardboard houses made in Japan. Christmas Village sold for $125 just for this lot. Kim Smith paid $5.99 at Goodwill, listed in April, took best offer of $130. Ariat Work Polar Tech Quarter Zip Fleece Sweatshirt. I mean, really, look how plain that is. I know the brand Ariat is high dollar, but um, the untrained eye would look at this and think, oh, that's just a plain old gray sweatshirt. Who would want that? Uh, and it sold for $130. So, <laughs> one of those hiding in plain sight kinds of items. Bevan Dunn paid $6 from a private buy, sold in two months for $135. Buyer purchased it at midnight on a Monday and wanted it by Thursday. I paid extra for two-day UPS and luckily it arrived on time. Was going to send a separate invoice for the extra $8, but got busy and didn't. Hope they appreciate it, and I'm sure they do. This is a vintage 90s Saks Fifth Avenue beaded dress uh, for a formal occasion. So it's a two-piece dress and it's a larger size, two extra large and size 18. Um, so a lot of things going for this item. Perfect time of year to wear to a holiday event or maybe for New Year's Eve. Six dollars and sold for $135. Don McMaster paid $10 for a display case that had a few things in it and this was one of them. It sold for $139.30. This is a vintage Illinois Pearl Harbor Survivor license plate. Very unique item. Brian Rappaport paid $10 about a month ago at a garage sale. Sold for $139.99. Hewlett Packard 45 calculator with AC adapter and leather case. $10 sold for $139.99. Donna Tremblay Fournier bought for $5 at a thrift store sold within two hours of listing. Black and Decker electric can opener for under cabinet. And these are very popular right now because um, of the tiny living situation, um, people downsizing, just becoming minimalist. Um, this is up, out of the way, under the cabinet. Next up is Peggy Chandler, listed for 10 months, paid 85 cents with senior discount. Found at Clothes Less Traveled in Peachtree City, Georgia. Sold yesterday for listed price, immediate pay. I had almost put it back in the thrift store since there was a long checkout line and it was the only thing I had found to buy. Decided to check eBay first. Suddenly the checkout line didn't seem so long. 1980s items are very nostalgic, so don't pass them by. This little guy happened to be very clean, but soiled plush generally cleans well. You really have nothing to lose since they sell for so cheap in the thrift stores. This is a vintage kids gift baby plush my first bear waffle weave and it sold for $149.99 cost her 85 cents. Myra Como paid up for these $30 at an estate sale and sold for full asking price of $150 in a little less than two months. Art supplies are one of my favorite items to source, but I admit I have a hard time letting them go. Vintage 1996 Sanford Prismacolor Art Sticks, 48 colors, good used condition. And these sold for $150. Just a side note, 
Robin Riedel paid $2.85 at Goodwill in July. I just walked around the corner and there it was. And it had just been put out. As the saying goes, I couldn't put it in my cart fast enough. It's been sitting in my money pile while I've had to deal with some other life things. Put it up for sale on auction because I have the only one for sale anywhere that I could find. Only one bid, surprisingly, but this one was a committed buyer who started sending me offers and messages as soon as I listed it. I know she's heard it many times before, but I have to thank Suzanne again for this group, for all the training and encouragement, because otherwise I would not know about Jelly Cat and would not have the courage to list such high dollar items. But it's not so scary when we're all doing this together. And get the Bolo books, by the way. <laughs> yes, uh, Jelly Cat was in one of the Bolo books, so... Um, I'm so glad to be of help to you, Robin. This is Jelly Cat 15 inch new large peach bashful bunny. $2.85 and he sold for $150. Great sale. Sue Ann Akers bought on Facebook Marketplace for $30. Took best offer of $150 after three weeks large lot of Octonauts action figures. I believe this is a cartoon. This sold for 150 and she paid $30. And now we've got Mary Sanderlin Pepoy. Probably didn't say that right, Mary, so please correct me. <laughs> uh, bought for $2 at a yard sale and took a best offer of 160. I liked that it looked Art Deco and I had no idea the worth until I got home. This is a vintage Avon Elizabeth Taylor fashion jewelry pin and earrings. $2 and sold for $160. Jody Clark paid $50 at an estate sale for this Bose Wave radio CD player. Sold in two days for $199.95 and free shipping. So yes, this is a Bose AM FM radio CD player. 50 bucks sold for just under 200. Emily Ng paid up for this $50, but knew it would sell well with the remote. Sold in a few days for full asking. Gotta love the holiday shopping season. This is another Bose Wave radio. This one is in white. $50 and sold for just under $200. And now we have KC Vetterly Free sold for $212.46 in about three months after sending a 15% off offer to watchers. These unsuspecting boots can go for great money. I'm generally not interested to see where items ship, but I was curious about these. They're going to a historic tourist ghost town in California. The brand is Whites, just like it sounds, W-H-I-T-E-S. Boots, made in USA, logger boots. So they just look like work boots free and sold for $212.46. Susie Palmer Grant, I paid $12.50 for this at a resale store, listed for $249.90 plus shipping and sold within minutes, who knew? I got my price from eBay Solds, where one other sold for this much. As I was doing my happy dance, I immediately received messages from two other buyers asking me to cancel the sale and sell the hoodie to them. Telling them it was already sold didn't seem to phase them. One of the buyers insisted I had it priced too low and offered me $400. Finally responded that as a woman of integrity, I could not and would not cancel the sale and asked him would he want me to do that to him? I guess that finally got through to him and he accepted defeat. This must be a bolo for sure. I'm still very happy with the return on my investment. 
This is a vintage Ralph Lauren 90s polo country Henley sweatshirt hoodie. $12.50 sold for $249.90. And this is another one of those items that doesn't really look all that spectacular, but apparently there's a market for it if somebody is willing to pay $400. Suzanne Keen. Brand new Victoria's Secret pink perfume. Bought for $25 at a local thrift store in July and sold for $250 five months later. There you go. Victoria's Secret pink. It is new and sealed. Paid $25 and it sold for $250. Jomira Kukan. Bought this on the last day of an estate sale for 75% off last March. Part of a haul of other Jim Shore nativity scenes. Divided it and listed separately. I think this is less than $50. Sold for $250. Jim Shore Rare. Let Heaven and Nature Sing Christmas Palm Tree with Camel and Drummer. So it's just uh, nativity set pieces. Sold for $250 and it cost her $50. Holly Feger. These were a fun find. I randomly stopped by the Salvation Army store on the way home with a friend. We perused the entire store. Didn't really find anything. Just as we were leaving, I decided to check the shoes. Found these Star Wars boots on the top shelf. Looked up comps and immediately bought them. Paid $14.99, listed for $3.99.99. Sold on best offer for $2.99.50 in a week. These are Star Wars Women's Last Jedi Black Boots. Sandra Brisbane, estate sale find for $50. This one is a hard to find Pendleton National Park wool blanket. So I priced crazy high but took best offer of 300. I remember someone posted that you shouldn't become a storage unit, just sell things. Had minor flaws which I stated and took pictures of. $50 sold for 300 Rocky National Park wool Pendleton blanket. Okay, we're going to move on to mega size sales of $350 or more. And we're going to start with Karen Ayala. This belt was in a local thrift store, badly tarnished and very dirty. There was an unreadable maker's mark on the back, but it was obviously a quality piece. I did pay up for this item at $65, but the belt fit, so I figured at least I could wear it myself. Surprised to learn that this was a hand engraved silver buckle from a well-known Texas jeweler. I listed for $499.99 and took an offer of $400 after two weeks. It went back to Texas. This is a Greg Jensen engraved sterling silver four piece belt buckle set. Cost her $65 and she sold it for $400. Alicia King Hatch found a Scrub-A-Dub hand puppet at a thrift store for 50 cents. It's the same brand as those used in the Baby Einstein videos. I couldn't find this particular puppet on eBay, Google, or WorthPoint. I thought I might be reaching a little when I started the auction at $49.99. Within eight hours, it was at $100. After seven days, the auction ended at $810. Sadly, the winning bidder didn't pay. Put it up for auction again and sold it for $455. Again, the winning bidder didn't pay. Finally did a buy it now at $500, accepted a best offer of $425, and they paid. The whole process took six weeks. So this is a 50 cent item, Morris Moose Hand Puppet, Baby Einstein, and she sold it for $425. That's just crazy. Leslie Razian, this is a vintage 
St. John evening skirt suit that my sister wore only once. So free to me. I listed it last Thursday night and woke up to it being sold for full price. She also gave me several more St. John evening collection pieces to list. So this is a St. John evening by Marie Gray Santana knit shimmer pink skirt suit sold for $467 and that is very classy and glamorous so I'm not surprised that it sold for so much because that uh, vintage St. John stuff can really go for extremely high prices like over a thousand dollars and finally we're going to end with Eileen Cole her biggest sale ever three dollars at a used book sale sold in 10 days for 599 dollars this is crimson peak signed guillermo del toro limited edition book with slipcase there you see it three dollars and sold for just under 600 <laughs> And Eileen, we need to get you back on the podcast and do another book edition because um, I think this is an overlooked category. People feel overwhelmed and your podcast in 2022 um, has created a lot of more questions and people want to hear from you again. So we will definitely do that in 2023. Okay, we have reached the end. Thank you so much, everybody, for posting on this $100 thread so that you can share your knowledge because we all learn more as a community when everybody contributes. So I appreciate all of you, and I will see you in the next video. Have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye, everybody.